Hey guys, the Red Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this cool dis disintegration effect um, that I found online, and I've used it in some of my previous designs. And I think it looks really cool. It looks like particles are coming out of someone or something, and you can incorporate this into your designs in any way you want. I think it just looks pretty cool, and. Um, I got this image uh, from unsplash.com. Um, you can ha find royalty, high resolution for royalty free images that you can use in any design, uh, whether it's personal or commercial. You can use it free to use. So, so first off, for this tutorial, we're going to make a new document. I'm going to make it 9020 text 1080 uh, for video purposes. I'll probably use it. Uh, different way. So we're gonna drag our image in, right? So this time I use this image from Unsplash, and I'm just gonna scale it up. Um, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. I think ar around there is fine. And then we're gonna uh, duplicate it two times with Control Command J, one, two. And then we're gonna hide the bottom layer. So for this, um, the top layer, just make sure you rasterize the top layer, and then go to Filter liquefy and then for this um we're just going to like liquefy the image like so uh it's gonna look really ugly but trust me this is how it works it looks really cool in the end so you're just going to gonna want to distort uh the image as much as you can and every way possible just um pin around and liquefy it <laughs> and you should get like some really good results. It doesn't matter, just make it like super random, like this. It doesn't really matter at all. Um, and then uh, we're going to, uh, you're probably gonna have to make sure you have uh, my 1,100 uh, subscriber pack because we're gonna use brushes that I included from that pack. So once you're done, just click OK and looks like modern extremely modern art but uh, we don't want that so you're just gonna click the layer uh, mask button right there and at first you don't see nothing but make sure you select the the mask itself and then press Control command I and it should invert the mask and so you have the original image so we're gonna go to our brush and then we're gonna select one of our brushes um, this is the brush pack that I have that I also included in my 1100 pack. Uh, check in my recent videos, it should be there. And then I'm, I'm going to select this particle brush. It looks really nice and really cool. And then I'm going to uh, paint with white. Now I'm just going to paint around here like so. As you can see, you can see the particles forming already and it looks really cool, right? But we want to sell this effect. So uh, we're going to go into our second image that we copied, and then we're gonna click the mask button as well. But this time we're gonna paint with black, and we're gonna repeat that process and going around the image like this. So it looks like particles are actually coming off the character or the clothing or whatever, and it makes it believable. So just gonna like paint around here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, not do this. Sorry, I painted a little bit too much. So uh, the white of the transparent background is showing. That's fine, no biggie. But I think it looks really cool. Um, actually, I'm gonna do is create a new layer, and um, with your Alt tool, you can select the color of the background. I'm just gonna paint in the background so so it matches the color of the wall behind her and uh, this can be different with a uh, different image so be wary of that and we're going to continue painting with black here until we have like a really solid effect of particles coming out of her and uh, the cloth this uh, clothing and then the horns I think it looks really cool and again you can expand upon that and um, you know, apply this effect in anything you want. And then I feel there's a little bit too much particles coming out of her herself. 
So um, I'm going to paint in white here and get rid of some of these particles. And I'm only gonna keep the edge ones because they are the ones that are actually coming off the design and uh, like this. This looks really cool, really nice. Uh, looks like she's actually disintegrating a little bit, especially right here and right here. It looks really good right here as well. Uh, not too much here, but that's fine. Again, uh, I'm just teaching you the basics on this effect so you can apply it into your design or picture or whatever you want really and that's pretty much it you can do uh, again you can do whatever you want with this effect I'm just teaching you the basics of it and uh, this has been another tutorial by the ride designs and uh, have a good day